Welcome to Joystick Justice League to a brand new show called Revise This, where Joe and I, Mike Frusios, we suggest changes to hardware and software, starting with the DualShock 4. So Joe, um, you just got a PS4 recently. Mm -hmm. um, you suggested that you kind of have like a love-hate relationship with this controller. I do. Let's talk about, well, let's talk about, let's, let's start off positively. Let's talk about what they Sony did right with this new controller. What do you like about the DualShock 4? I love just the, the way that it feels in your hand. It feels, mm -hmm. compared to the DualShock 3 on the, the PS3, it feels more substantial in your in your hand. Yeah. You know, it, with, uh, even with uh, here, these being a touch longer, it feels like it's sitting a little bit more ergonomically properly in your hand, we'll see. Yeah, you, you hit the key word there, ergonomics. I mean, it, it really just feels like it fits in your hand properly, whereas yep. it doesn't feel as toy-like as the DualShock 4. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of rigid and hard lines. This feels very sleek and meaty. Because you could, the DualShock 3, you could kind of go like a scene you can feel. You, you, can yeah. almost, you feel like the plastic is kind of buckling. This feels solid, I will say. Yeah, it, actually, it even has kind of like a grip material, uh, like, a, like a hard plastic that, that just kind of feels nice in your palms. It, it doesn't, I, I don't see you getting chafing or, or starting to feel pain after like a long game yeah. session with this. Because if you get sweaty palms like I do, yeah, that's still like, yeah. a nice uh, grip on it. So. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. That, that's that's definitely what they've done right. I mean, I, I like the fact that um, it now has concave tips. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not completely sold on these yet, but it's much better than what the DualShock 3 had, where at least there is some kind of a barrier for the tip of your thumb to hit when you're doing something, say, like Rayman Legends, where you have to do a lot of work on the left-hand stick. You're, you're constantly speedrunning, yeah. so you don't, your, your thumb slips on the DualShock 3, whereas at least this has somewhere to go. It's, it's not quite up to the Xbox level yet yeah. with the actual points to, to kind of grip your thumb, but mm -hmm. it's, it's a lot better in design. The speaker, Joe, what do you think about the speaker? I, uh, we were talking about this the other night, and some games have actually made a really cool use of this. Uh, um, Rise of Gun, for example, mm -hmm. Metal Gear, when you when you get to the radio call, you can actually, if you're feeling really nerdy enough, you can actually hold it up and it's almost like you're listening yep. to like a message coming through there. So. Yep, Tomb so, Raider, you can hear the journals coming out of the, like a ghostly kind of whisper yeah. coming out of the controller. Or Scenario Kings, you can hear your gun reloading. Yep. And, Stuff like that, you know. One of the best ones too now I noticed is Transistor, uh, which recently came out for PS4 and PC. Now, it, it, when when Transistor talks to you, you have two options where you can actually have it come out of the game audio, or you can have Transistor speak out of your controller, which increases you know the suture of yep. that. Um, touchpad, I'm kind of mixed on it. We're gonna get into that in a sec. I mean, I, I like the idea of being able to scale over an options menu, but. Um, it's very sensitive, you know. It's in Mercenary serious. Kings, like it's really hard to get pinpoint accuracy to that. We'll, we'll get into that. So that's really what we like about this. You know, it has you know good, good triggers. Uh, the great D-pad is always if you're into fighting games. Yep. Now let's. This show is of course called Revise This. We want to make some suggestions because typically a controller gets rebooted at least once or twice. Usually once in a generation. We're hoping to see at least I'd say five major improvements coming up. So let's start with. Um, let's talk about the rubber tips, Joe. What's been happening with these rubber tips? Now, I've, I've had uh, my PS4 for, I would say, probably about two and a half, three weeks now, and already, after less than a month of usage, my left stick, I can see the plastic tip below the rubber already. It's ripping apart. Yep. Um, I, I thought that maybe it was because you know, I hadn't trimmed my fingernails or something like that, but and that may be the case, that may have been the catalyst, that started this, but I mean, you can see on mine right here, it's basically ready to ha almost come off. There's like a yep. big smile underneath the, the yep. analog stick. It's gotten so bad that I actually, it, it's actually readjusted it by itself. It's not yep. always peeling under my thumb when I'm playing something like Towerfall or Trials Fusion. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem, Sony, is that the rubber compound you're using on these sticks isn't beefy enough. It's not like the, the hard, 360 compound or the Xbox one that's just like it's a hard rubber and it can take a beating But if you're into hardcore twitchy games Joe like trials like I think that's yeah. where your your where it started was playing trials It did and when, when you actually look closely at it, it you can feel it, it's a lot softer than uh, on a lot of the other it games is. I've seen and it, uh, it has a very porous kind of a look and feel to it and, with, uh, and at those points it's like the rubber just made it a little too thin I think even if they yep. kept the same combo but made the made the rubber a little bit thicker, could work to its advantage. Right, I mean, you don't want, Sony, you don't want to force us to have to go buy third-party controllers. I mean, I know there isn't any competition yet. This is a pretty complex controller. It it's gonna take a while for, for Hip Gear and all these other companies to make them. But for now, 
please put a better rubber compound on these tips or if you're not gonna do that, at least release some 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 extra tips, some replacement tips we can put on this, because this is garbage. When I'm playing a speed run, the last thing that, it, it actually throws me out of my game sometimes when I can feel the plastic peeling underneath my thumb and that's that's just really annoying and, and garbage for a controller that costs $64.99. Yes, so, absolutely. something we definitely wanna see. Uh, next up on the suggestion list, let's talk about the shoulder buttons, the L1 and R1 buttons here, Joe. So what do you think about these? You know, the, uh, uh, I will say, initially look and feel wise, it, 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 the, the, the triggers I will say do feel more responsive, but I, I will notice uh, like the, the bumpers are, you know, I think everybody goes, yeah, I haven't quite noticed it online yet, but they, they are already starting to stick a little bit. Yeah. When you're playing, uh, say like uh, Zen Pinball or something, it, it once again, it's, you're having to think about the, the controller when you're playing and then that, that can, take you out of the game actually. Yeah, it's not that, like with Zen Pinball, what'll happen is like, you know, when I play pinball, I, 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 I strike those L1, R1 triggers. It's just a natural impulse. That's how you play pinball. You just smack them, right? And I never had this problem with the DualShock 3 until now when using the DualShock 4 when they're actually, it'll stick for a second. And it's not that it affects the gameplay, but it's like, it, again, just throws you out of that that uh, interactivity when you, you when you're thinking about the mechanics of your hardware. Mm -hmm. So obviously, the way it's been designed, maybe the way the plastic is molded around the button or something, yep. it's catching somewhere. So there, it just I just never had this problem with any PlayStation controller up until now. So and, and like you're saying, going back to the, the trigger buttons, I noticed yours. I can actually feel like the spring. Yeah. In your button now. I may have got uh, uh, unlucky, maybe just got maybe one that just maybe the spring was uh, already maybe faulty or something, but I can feel and almost kind of hear the spring already in that left trigger, which is unfortunate. That's crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. And so, yeah, I mean, it hasn't been a problem until now. Better buttons, Sony, you gotta fix that stuff because it's just, it's just, it can be, it just throws you out of your game. Uh, moving on, let's talk. Before we get to the major issue, let's talk about one last issue. Let's talk about the PlayStation button. Yeah. Do you like where it's located, Joe? I don't. I don't mind. But I mean, it, it's in a prime spot where if you do slip off the, the touchpad, if you watched our, our uh, not our most recent Rage Quitters, but when we did Trials Fusion, that uh, you were slipping off and hitting that, and it takes you to the XM. Because it's it's right it's here, right man. There. If yeah. your if your thumb slips off the left stick. Boom, it lands right on the PlayStation button before. Yep. See, look, I just turned on your system right now. Yep. Before, it was like right top center, and there was no way you were going to kind of, it would take a lot of effort to, to fall off of that. But mm -hmm. this time, it, it's way too easy to hit that. Um, it, it almost makes more sense that if you lower the speaker yep. and, and just kind of switch the speaker where the PlayStation button is, maybe that might fix it. Yep. Um, I don't know. Maybe getting rid of, maybe getting rid of the fucking touchpad. Let's get on to the last issue yeah. here. The touchpad is our biggest grievance. It's almost feeling like a novelty. The first time I tried it was in Killzone Shadowfall. Mm -hmm. Didn't like it. It's very, it's overly sensitive. It, for, for somebody with my sausage fingers, it's <laughs> really hard to be precise on that thing. What do you, what do you think about it? You know, I, I, I don't mind it. I, I, I like the idea of it, but uh, most recently I was streaming Trials Fusion. <laughs> oh God! And uh, I was there to watch that. I and, thought you were gonna break down. And uh, I was on the uh, the Greater Curry level, which is uh, essentially the, the last track, and got three quarters of the way through. Now, how it works in Trials Fusion, that uh, the left side of the touchpad will reset the level, and the right side <laughs> takes you to, to the menu, right? And uh, I was, like I said, I was about three quarters of the way through, and slipped off and actually press the left side of it and reset the level. And I lost it. I, like I was just pissed because I, I already spent probably invested about 30 minutes into this level and then reset it. I'm like, mm, oh, like uh, I can't. No, like, I understand works. your pain there because yeah. like this isn't just like to, I know what it's like to battle in trials and I saw you, you were so close. And just for a stupid game breaking glitch, I don't understand it, Red Lynx. You've already got the options menu yeah. when you hit options. I don't know why you need to put a second options thing and, and, and restarting using the touchpad. Why can't I just hold L2 and R2 together? Yeah. You know, like, or L1 and R1 together. Why does this touchpad even necessary? Like, it, it should, it should, it doesn't have to be tacked on or at least give us the option to turn it off. And I think that um, um, I have heard that there's a possibility maybe with the next uh, update to, to PS4 that uh, I'm hoping that they'll give us an option to disable it. Just disable a thing, man. Yep. Unless we need it. Yeah, unless I'm playing Diablo and I directly need it or Minecraft. Yep. 
great, but trials, it's gotta be turned off. It's, it's just a simple option. Now I know there's gonna be a lot of updates red legs, so I'm hoping you're hearing this and you fix this. Let me just add one more thing to the list, Joe. I'm really excited that they, they gave us the option in the recent 1.7 update, I think it was, to dim the light bar, okay? Yeah. That's great, let's turn it off. How about that? That'd be great because then this controller would be a beast. It would last for hours if I could just turn off the damn light bar because not every game needs it. I will, and, and interesting that you mentioned that, I will notice that with that addition, I'm finding that I'm getting a lot less battery life out of this thing. Yeah. Shot three. And I, I believe that, that that's the primary culprit there. Yeah, I'm getting a bit more now that I've dimmed the light bar, but not enough. And I understand, yes, it, it, it needs, there has to be, there are certain games that require, but certain games don't. And I don't want to have to be wasting my battery power on those games. So these are things that I think are realistic to change in the DualShock 4. Again, I'm not saying it's a total crap controller. No. It feels great. It has, it has some innovative functionality. The speaker's awesome. Great D-pad as usual. I like the fact that they've evolved the thumbsticks, but I've never seen so many game-breaking problems mm. in a DualShock controller before, and I really hope this gets rebooted or else I'm going third party. That's all I have to say. So uh, anything else you want to add as a suggestion to Sony and developers on working with this touchpad and, and using it properly and not as a gimmick? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I, think, I think it's going to work well for like our real-time strategy games and whatnot, and, I, and and then I could see some some cool usage that I could even maybe put in like a like XCOM or something. Could be used to like trace a path or something like that. Right. Uh, but just give us that option. Because give us the option, it, not it, make it a, like yeah. a built-in thing. Because uh, this, this is a fairly new feature that that is I'm not gonna say gimmicky, but but can be a little. Little, little sketchy, give us the option to, to choose whether to use it. Yes, thank you. And, and Tribute Games and Mercenary Kings, please also give us the option to turn off the touchpad with the map. It's just it, it's just confusing. But anyway, so there's there's lots of time to fix it. It's still really the game. This has been our brand new show, Revise This Episode 1, again, where we're not only going to be reviewing hardware, but also software. It's kind of like an, uh, an interactive like video forum, basically yep. suggesting fixes to developers and hopefully somebody hears it and makes some sense of it. So I'm Mike Frisios. I'm Joe Lauren. Stay tuned to Joystick Justice League on YouTube for way more content and we'll see you again soon. Peace. Game over.